Hi everybody, and welcome back to some vanilla action. It's been a while, um, I know when I said I came back from hospital that I'd be starting to record regularly again, but I had to go and cat sit at my parents' house, and I was stuck with just my laptop, which is no good for recording. So I'm back now, and we are going to play a bit of vanilla. Um, I know that you guys would like some more vanilla, I was playing way too much Feed the Beast before. For those that you like, Feed the Beast, don't worry, I'm going to be doing some more, so that's all good. And we are going to start off by heading towards a swamp to get us some slime balls. And slime balls are more useful than ever now, um, as we can use them to make leashes. But we also need them for some sticky pistons. I, I'm a bit rusty on the old redstone, but we're going to be doing a lot in this map. Um, already had a request for a tree farm, and I do have some ideas, but uh, when I was doing some testing before, going back a few months, um, it ended up using too much bone meal, uh, so that could be a bit of a problem, but we're going to see what we can do. But first of all, we're going to need some of those precious slime balls. And although that I know that there's a slime chunk nearby, I heard some slimes while I was doing some strip mining. Um, three skeletons is not good news in the latest snapshots. Wow, ever since 1.52, to be honest. Can't get close to the buckers. I know, I know, I know, I know what you guys are going to be saying. Block! But I've got a zombie here as well, and here is all some of the damage, and I'm not going to die, so it's all good. I can afford to lose a bit of armor, because that's all that's going to happen. For some strange reason, I thought I was hungry then, but I wasn't. Right, so we are at the dangerous swamp of doom, by the seams of things. Oh, spider jockey. God, I've pissed off an Enderman as well. Uh, we are in trouble, guys. Um, sorry for my language just then. Uh, that just came out of nowhere. Sucks that I've only got carrots for food for now. I have a lot of food growing back at the town. Um, this is this new problem with zombies as well. Another new feature. Thanks very much, Mojang. Uh, where are they calling back up? Try and lead them through some cacti. Always watching your back, of course. And especially if there's a creeper on the way. Get the spider out of the way. Alright, we are going to do this. It's not going to be easy. But we're going to do this. I just really hope they stop calling him back up at some point. Because we have got a lot of zombies following us now, guys. And I mean a lot of zombies. Just die, guys. Oh, not another creeper. Actually, I'm going to use this creeper to our advantage. Yes. I took a bit of damage from that as well, but, you know, it was kind of worth it. Otherwise, we would have just had a whole episode of me chasing away from an ever-expanding army of zombies guys and you would have probably got bored of that eventually I know I would have stop calling him back up oh sugar so much for getting slimes eh guys One priority now, and that is heading back to town as safely and quickly as possible. And building us a... You know what? I'm going to build us a diamond sword. Why not? I was actually quite lucky when I was doing some strip mining and found quite a lot of diamonds already. 
just getting the basics together for this world. Uh, you may notice that this is actually a different world to what I showed in the last video. Um, that was because I have completely reformatted my PC and I thought rather than just backing this one up, I thought why not just create a new one because I made next to no progress on that map. So we have this new world here, it's the same seed and that's 83188 for those that are wondering. Um, we're still surrounded by horses and we still got this village full of villagers so we're all good. The problem we have now is it's daytime so we're not going to be able to get our slimes. Um, I need some more bookcases for this weird little enchanting area I've got here. I know it's a bit stupid to have an outdoor enchanting area but it's because I've built no sort of permanent home yet. This is just a temporary sort of shack. We've just got some chests in here. This one's, I'm starting to sort them out. So I've just got the cobstone in there. I'm starting to get some redstone stuff together in there. Um, and these two are the two that I'm still sorting. And I've got these four uh, furnoi, furnaces, whatever the plural is for those. Um, get some string together, which is great for making our uh, our leeches when we do get some slime balls. Right, so change of plan. What we're going to do now is we are going to work on automating this. So um, let's build some pistons, just some generic pistons because we still haven't got our slime balls, um, we need some iron and we need a bit of redstone, you know what this is the most complex uh, recipe in vanilla minecraft as far as I know and I still to this day sometimes get the recipe wrong, I'm just checking it before I, oh nice, so we will Let's make. Oh, well, we're going to need loads, so uh, let's take this up to 32. We need more wood. Um, let's just make 19 for now, so we won't worry. Oh, God, I'm not even going to be able to make 19. I should have thought about this a bit more. I forgot just how many pistons you need for a sugarcane farm. Um, Well, there's 16 for now, that's half of what we need. Have we actually got any more wood? Um, no. New problem, guys, we're going to need to get some wood. Um, so, let's grab ourselves our axe, if we can find it, that is. Alright, our axe is nearly dead, so let's make a new one. Grab some of those, and do this. Um, if anyone could tell me in the comments how you do that thing. So, when I was crafting the pistons, uh, you notice I did the whole shift click thing where you can drag. Um, does anyone know how to do it so it splits them equally? If anyone could tell me in the comments, that'd be great. If not, I shall just spend some time staring at the wiki, I guess. Um, let's dump this stuff off. And let's grab some wood as quick as we can. I've planted some trees over here, which I'm already regretting because some of them are grown up. Control, as always, with oak trees. Um, but you know, that's life. That's what all the people say. Get in there. Don't need too much wood. Thank God it multiplies by a four when it's turned into planks and uh, we'll just put that there. Let's get up inside this tree. Please no jokes in the comments about getting up inside things. Thank you very much. I've just uh watched a couple of the Minecraft guys uh, UHC episodes. I mean, I won't spoil anything, although I'm sure 
the majority of you have probably already watched them. Um, but seriously, uh, episode 7 is very interesting from a couple of people's perspectives. So I definitely recommend checking it out, guys. Um, I suppose it won't ruin anything. If I don't tell you who dies or anything, all I'll say is I recommend watching B00 um, and Zisto. Uh, very interesting perspectives. I mean, if you watched episode 6, you'll know what Zisto's up to anyway. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Um, interesting tactic that I haven't seen in UHC before, but I... Uh, I've only been watching UHC for the last four or five, so they might have done it pre those ones. And I think that's from that other tree, so I might just leave that intact for now. Get rid of this one. Hello, donkey. You will be tamed eventually, as will all of your friends. That's what sugarcane is for. Not only for that, you guys know that sugarcane has many reasons, but the main reason I'm farming it early on is for taming horses and donkeys and mules. Can't forget the mules. Um, right, I should be doing okay now. I think I left a bit of wood up in this tree. I will have to do something about that because it will annoy me to see this great big floating bush otherwise. Let's take you down. There we go. Right, that is more than enough wood now. Now we can seriously start making some pistons. Just grab so many saplings, not that I really need them, we've got quite a lot of spare ones. Just getting them ready for that requested tree farm. Don't forget, guys, that you can all make requests, and I try my best to complete requests at all points, whether you're an old subscriber or a new subscriber. I care about you all. Um, what did I do with that iron? There we go. Don't actually have that much iron yet. Don't have any any burn naive as I know. Um, now, how did I do this? Was it that way around? See, I've already forgot and I've just made some. This time it's easy because I am doing 16 exactly. Alright, there we go. Now we've got our 32 pistons. Um, so we've got all this wood. Why did I put the cobstone in there? Ah, yes, I've got a whole stack of iron all there that I forgot about. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That is great news, guys. Great news. Right, we'll keep this redstone on us. Put this iron back in there. Not that we're worried about iron as much as we were before. Let's grab some stone and the stone bricks. Make a few more stone bricks. Why stone bricks, you ask? I just like stone bricks. I think they're one of the nicest blocks in the game. Uh, we will be using clay blocks for a lot of stuff, but I need to gather a lot of clay first. Um, just eat a carrot. Let's think what else do we need. We need some torches, and we're going to need some repeaters as well. Um, so what we shall do is we need to grab some of this wood again. Uh, we'll grab 32 of those and split them like that. That'll give us... Well, 64 sticks. We'll grab some of that redstone and whack it there, and that'll give us some more redstone torches. Um, just trying to think what goes where when making it. I can't believe I can't remember how to make repeaters. This shows you how rusty I am with the old redstone. It's something. Yes, that's the one. Right, how many repeaters we need? Let's just make 10 for. The sake of uh, having plenty for now. Right, let's go and oh, some dirt. Let's get rid of these saplings. Um, we need some dirt to 
fill in the oh, and a bucket. And a bucket. I'm going to get the bucket, John. Um, sorry about my birds in the background guys, you probably know them by now if you have been watching my videos. Um, not a lot I can do about them. Uh, I live in a tiny flat and this is the only place that I can put my computer. So all it means is each episode is presented by me and a couple of birds. Which is always a good thing. Right. Don't worry guys, this is only temporary, so looks wise and placement wise, it doesn't really matter. Um, so why are you using stone bricks, you may ask? That is a very valid question. Um, basically, again, just because I really like stone bricks. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. If anyone's Spanish, they can correct me on that, please. Um, and we should grab the sugar cane and put it in place. And then the row of stone bricks. run inside like a cow and get some sleep just because I don't want a creeper sneaking up while we are building. I made a big mistake when I created this map and started playing. I killed the only two cows in the area so I need to find some of those at some point if you're wondering why I haven't finished making my bookshelves yet. Okay. Just do this like this. Now to make a um really efficient sugar cane farm. It should be two rows of pistons, hence the 32. But, as this is only temporary, I've changed my mind and we are going to stick with just the one row of pistons because that will knock out both the top two rows and we will hope that will do okay. We won't know until sugar cane grows. We'll come back to check on that. Oh, I fell down the hole. Luckily, it's not tilled source, so it doesn't matter. Um, there. Oh, you know what I did forget? Is a button. And you're forgetting how to make buttons as well. See how rusty I am with vanilla, guys? It's quite embarrassing, if I'm honest. Um, temporary step. There, grab some redstone and some peters. What am I doing? There we go. So one there, all the way around here, and a repeat it there, and then just carry it on the ground, and then we're done. There you go. That's like literally one of the most basic semi-automatic sugarcane farms you can make, and that's how it works. Simples. I can't believe I just said simples. Turns out I'm a maker. Um, let's grab us some food. Sorry about this, guys, but I am fed up with carrots. I am a baked potato man. Hence, that all the farms near my house are starting to fill up with potatoes. Um, I need to till that bit at the end there. Eventually, I will make uh, semi-automatic wheat, potato, well, let's just say all the farms will be at least semi-automatic at some point, with some of them being fully automatic like they were in my old vanilla world. Um, oh, apparently I need to eat. 
raw potatoes aren't that great, but you know, it's what was there in my hot bar, so it's what I ate. Just killing time basically until we can go and get some more slimes. I am trying to make these episodes without cutting too much, just so you guys know I'm not cheating in any way, shape or form, and just so you can see how I play and point out all the things I do wrong. Um, okay, we've got a bit more time. Let's grab some of this wheat. We might be able to make ourselves some emeralds out of these villagers. Is that you that's done that, Mr. Villager? It is, I'm not very happy with you. Those farms haven't managed to finish growing yet. Um, and we're going to replace some of this with potatoes because I want as many potatoes as possible. But it would be nice to have some left to actually cook. <laughs> So that'll do for the potatoes now. Let's change to wheat seeds. And add some thumbs. You guys may notice this is probably the most confident I've felt filming a video in a long time. And I don't know if that's because my health has improved or what, but it feels good and I hope it comes a cross on the videos. Stone related stuff in here. This stuff in here. Actually, all this can go in here. We're going to get these potatoes cooking. I will actually keep that uh, potato. Come on, just give me one tweet for now. We have our first baked potato. Right. How's this iron? 55 on right there, so 64 in there, and 23 in there. How are we doing with the time? Is this up? Okay, we've got plenty of time. So, do, what do we have? Do we have any pumpkins or melons yet? I don't believe we've found any. Okay, so we can't start those farms just yet. How is that growing out there? This has actually worked out perfectly. Can actually check the sugarcane growth from this window. Um, let's see if we can find any interesting villager deals, shall we? You sell glowstone. That is not much use to me right now. I've got some glowstone already. Great, I can't open this door. Wall. I love these sounds these villagers make, I really do. Um, I'm really debating making my own resource pack, uh, my own textures. So a creeper instant there, patched up with dirt. Um, if you're wondering what that happened just there. And a little fire instant. It turned out there was just a bit of cobstone here which I took because I was taking the Furnaces or Ferni, we still need to know what uh, the right plural was there. Another thing for me to look up um, from here. And as soon as I took the cobstone away, apparently it started to burn while I went around, which is uh, not a great thing. You know what? None of these villages have that great deals. I wish it was selling books rather than uh, wanting to buy them. Alright then. Okay. That one's not problem. Let's just use some of this wheat to breed the sheep then. Let's get you inside here with the rest of your friends. Follow me. There 
There we go, we've got a nice lot of sheep on the way now. Right, time is starting to get on our side, so let's get prepared. Eighteen spuds should get us through. And if we start travelling it over now, hopefully by the time we get there it might be night. Actually, what we shall do is we shall grab the if I have one, if I have one, do I have one? Turns out I don't. Oh well. Can't wait to sort these chests out because I'm grabbing stuff from the wrong areas. Uh, let's shovel. And I'll just get us a little bit of sand on the way. Never have too much sand. Just gotta try and take it so it doesn't ruin the landscape too much. That's why I said just a little bit. areas like this you can go for those and take away a lot of it because then you can just shake that however you want really as you go for the whole sand situation for now. Let's go find us some slimes. Hope it's a little bit less deadly here now. Sorry about how dark it is, guys. Oh, I didn't hear that scary. I can't remember what the rules are for slime spawning in swims. I don't think it's right at the start of night. I think it might be midnight or something. I don't know how it works. I can hear a slime already, so that was wrong. Oh, did not see you sneaking up. Quiet, that creeper then, but obviously no. Is it just me, or have they changed how long food lasts? Or? I don't seem to be uh, staying full for as long as I used to. Looking for slimes, people. Not interested in you. Oh, 
Being stuck in water when you've got creepers after you is never a good idea. loads of slimes in this one. I think it's because there's too many other mobs spawning. Check out this witch hut. Sadly, I only have sand to do it with. No witch. But I might come back and grab that cauldron. So. Potato time. Let's try and get a few more slimes on the way back. We've only got 12 slime so far. I thought this would get us a lot of slimes pretty quickly. Obviously not. Turns out I was very wrong. Go away, Mr. Skeleton. I can't be stopped to fight you right now. Are you zombies? is I can't see the slimes that are gone underwater and uh, that's a bit of a problem so I need their little slime balls we've got a zombie army problem again right now I think they need to tweak this whole new uh, ability that zombies have because it seems to be a bit OTT it's over the top of if you guys don't know what OTT stands for, expect you do. Or let's just say OP, because that's a more modern term, which is overpowered, of course. Show my age there, show my age. Let's die, die, somebody's gonna be Goddamn slime. I was going to head back, but I decided that we need more slimes. We actually need tons for the tree farm, but the tree farm might take a while anyway, but we might do some basic planning. Probably in the next episode now. Um, this episode has ended up taking longer than I thought just to get to this point. We shall see how things go try and just get the slimes that are on land now. Other than bothering with the ones in the water. Talking of which, hello Mr. Huge Slime. And thank you Mr. Creeper. Oh, not another one. How did it... 
Did anyone even see that one? If anyone honestly saw that one, say in the comments, because I did not see that creeper. I'm going to check my brightness settings in a minute, because this seems way too dark, even for night. Let's go brightness. Do, 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 do. Video settings, brightness. Oh, let's see. It was set to moody. Oh, I'm very sorry about that, guys. Very sorry. It happens. Uh, that's what happens when you reinstall Minecraft and forget to change all your settings back to how they used to be. I don't actually usually have brightness turned all the way up, but I'm going to for now, just to make it better for you guys. Um, and then I'll probably tweak it to about halfway in between episodes. I can't see any slimes. Oh, there's a big one over there. We'll go and get that, and that'll be the last one for now. I'm just trying to ruin my day, skeletons. Uh, I think I'm going to have to make a slime farm at some point. It's great that I'm going to have these leashes and everything now, guys, but there is one problem. I still don't have any saddles. Try and avoid Mr. Enderman. Just gonna try and get us back to base as quick as possible now. So temp definitely gonna come back here and grab all this clay. I'm gonna grab something now. Just a little bit of cook up. Tell you what, silk touch, um, Shovel would be perfect. Now we've got this new hardened clay, because uh, you can just take the clay blocks as they are and shove them straight in the furnace. That's something that I'm going to have to get at some point once I've got a proper enchanting station and some sort of XP farm. Let's head back to this town. Or the village. Town just sounds better, it's nice and short. Is that a cow? Holy cow, it's a cow. Right, that means we've got one cow. I'm going to have to come and grab you in a bit. So we just need one more now and then we can breed them. Now I have to try and remember the recipe for leashes, just because I just want to try a leash out quick. Maybe it's more up here. Right, simple solution guys, let's get the wood here. this really in creative. Um, I believe I did it in one survival world. No, I didn't actually have any of done this in creative. Love me. Love me. Thank you. Shift the spell. Getting that. Alright, let's go. I 
I would name the horse, but until I have a proper setup of saddles and name tags, etc., um, it's going to be quite confusing trying to remember which horse is which, unless I only get. There we go. I'll just tie you to there. And we have our first horse. Should we get one more just for the sake of it? Let's try and get ourselves a nice white one or a black one, maybe. Ooh, black. Oh, you're brown. Let's go for the white. A full sheet. A full size. Alright, let's try riding you. You like me very quickly. I like you. Let's go. Back to base. Let's go and show you your new friend. Have you finished eating? These leashes don't break as easy as they used to, which is great. Because um, when they first got introduced, I was trying them out. Uh, they broke very easily. Um, it was extremely frustrating to bring a horse back to your base. No, it's not so bad. And one slime ball basically gets you your two horses. Which is grand. Can I not tie them to the same post? I think this is what I'm trying to do wrong here. And I've blocked myself in here. Right. No? How is this happening? <laughs> Do you need to have another leash on you? I think I remember someone saying about that bug. Um, okay. This is a bit weird because we've got the leash stretching into the house now. Need some more string. Go on then. Let's tie you up, Mr. Horse. There we go. Now we have two horses. Great times, great times, good times, good times. Right. And now we use the remaining. Well, some of the remaining uh, slimes to make ourselves some sticky pistons. And we need to test to see if something still works in um, the latest snapshots and that's a old double extent design so we need that for our tree farm in the next episode so let's um, this wasn't originally my uh, design I don't know where I found this it's, I've just known how to make this one for a very long time guys so I'm not claiming it's mine don't worry nearly lost all my slime balls then that would be bad um, let's grab some redstone instead. Right, so um, down here would be a good area to start experimenting with our tree farm. I usually design stuff in creative, of course, but for the sake of doing this, I think that I am going to stick with making everything in um, survival for you guys um, just so you can see it all being made legitimately and then around like this and we have a problem because we have no lever or button with us grab that quick I definitely need to spend some more time with vanilla. I can't believe how rusty I am with these vanilla recipes. Um, so used to be, and I just used the old NEI to look anything up. Looks like that works fine, but we've got a block on it just to make sure. And there we go. We also need to know if we can stack this design, so.
Let's try that. It's a bit odd that the bottom one seems to go first, but there we go, and then we should be able to keep stacking it up, and imagine that, that there was a tree here, that might be a bit too close, wait, get pushed over. Then push it this way. Well, can't grow a tree straight next to you. Can't remember how I did this now, so I was definitely using this double extender design for my tree farm that I was making. Um, you know what, guys? We shall continue with our tree farm designing on the next episode. So, if you like this video, please give me a like. It helps a lot. Subscribe if you want to see a lot more content. Take care all, and keep crafting.